They have formed themselves as people, and they have their own opinions and principles. Yesterday's students are the qualified specialists of tomorrow who can compete on global markets. Those who graduate from the Balashok Scholarship Program are creative, talented, and masters in their fields. And they are the future of our country, who have experience and knowledge. If you want to get to know the hard work and achievements of these qualified specialists, watch the program Balashak on Kazakh TV. 20 years ago, three scientists from Japan invented the electronic diode. The Swedish King Academy gave the scientists the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2014. It was a revolution in the electric sphere. Kazakhstani Oral Walibek also made a revolution in this sphere. He invented from raw materials sodium gallium membrane. Oral Walibek. In February 4th of 1986, he was born in the Chinese Republic Xinhuan of the Uyghur Autonomous Region in the Nilka District. He finished secondary school in the Nilka District. On 5th of March 2006, he came back to the motherland. In 2006, he was enrolled in the scholarship of Al Farabi Kazakh National University majoring in physics. In 2010, he finished the university with excellent certificate. At the same year, he received the PhD scholarship from Dublin University through the Balashak program. In 2014, he received good results from his PhD in physics. In 2014, he came back to the country, and currently he works with scientific research at the Nazarbayev University. It was proved that the electric diode lamps can be used for a long time and they are energy saving. If we compare an ordinary lamp that can be used for a thousand hours, fluorescent lamps can be used 10,000 hours. The electric diodes usually do not use mercury. During this experiment, to make the electronic diodes, sodium and gallium have been taken. This type of element is produced in our country and not many people know about it. Typically, from the economic side, if we have a look at sodium and gallium, they are expensive elements in Kazakhstan. Currently, the price is equal with gold. It is a rare element, and not every country has it. And in the Pavlodar city, the aluminum factory produces 20 tons of clean, 99.99% gallium element. It means that 10% of the entire world's supply of gallium is produced in Kazakhstan. Typically, the device which is made from gallium and sodium is used in our lives. For example, we have already mentioned lamps. Scientists have received Nobel Prizes for their inventions. Why did they receive it? Well, if we use lamps which are made of sodium, we will save electric energy 95%. The thin shell of gallium and sodium is the first step to making such a kind of device. But to receive these elements with a cheap price is impossible in the synthesized world. Oral is the first scientist who made a synthesis of sodium and gallium at the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory in the USA. As with the request of the Nazarbayev University, the device should produce dust with a high magnetron power, with a special American design. Currently, through this device, we are doing research works with sodium and gallium. There is actually more advantage in developing our economic sodium and gallium than exporting gallium as a metal. When I was in Ireland, my interest in science was increased. I understood the advantages of the Balashak Scholarship. I understood as I was able to develop my knowledge in one of the most advanced universities of the world. We were taught by well-known professors. One of them is Michael Coe. Michael Coe is a professor He is one of the most influential scientists in the world of magnetism. 
He knew that we were from Kazakhstan. Then he started to tell his story with examples. Our country is rich in different types of metals. We told them that we have a majority of metals. Did you know that there is a ferromagnetic magnet which can be used widely in electronic devices? One kilogram costs 36 euros, and if you sell it as a metal, the price will be 1 to 2 euros. It is very easy to make ferromagnets from this metal. If you mix it with 42 to 52 pointer, the expensive ferromagnets will be ready. And you can see through this simple industry that you can develop and manufacture. His words gave us great ideas. It is a very important scientific sphere in Kazakhstan. In one way, it will increase the development of Kazakhstan, and secondly, it will develop the economics of Kazakhstan. When we sell the raw materials, they will bring the innovation, technical projects, which we have to develop and add production. The people who were forced to leave their motherland and the ones of their generation who was born in China are called Oral. Since childhood, he loves to read and finish his school with excellent certificates. Then when he grew up, he decided to go back to his motherland as he would like to receive a high education in his motherland. In the first time, especially when I studied in school, I started to read about Kazakhstan. Teachers were also talking about it that we have Kazakhstan as our motherland. I also understood about my motherland after I left school that I arrived in Kazakhstan, in Almaty. We did not have relatives here. Me and my friends came to Kazakhstan together. We thought that we had great talent. From the 100 testing questions, he answered right 95 of them and was enrolled in the government scholarship. Oral was enrolled in the Kazakh National University named after a bai, majoring in physics, and then he dreamed to study there. He graduated the university with an excellent certificate. In his motherland, he achieved the expectations in education. The presidential scholarship program opened up for Oral and another advantage of education. As the University of Dublin became a workshop for increasing his knowledge. Oral is close to the technical and physics sphere. He has a great interest in science. While you are doing researching works in science, you should always be interested in what you're doing. And it should be something that you love doing. Oral has these qualities in his character. It is especially true when he studied in Ireland. He saw another country and other places and his attitude was changed. For example, Oral has been to the U.S. recently with a scientific project from Nazarbayev University. When we talk with the American scientists, he told us as Oral has deep knowledge in science. We also know about it. He wrote a lot of articles in Ireland as well. There is a word in science called the impact factor. When you put your article in a magazine, it should be counted as factors of impact for readers. If the impact factor will be high, the scientific level will be high as well. For example, Oral wrote scientific articles to well-known magazines. They are necessary nowadays. Oral 
махаллар жазды. Яны жақсы жақсы, осы қазіргі заманға сай, ең керекті. Oral Alibek defended his PhD diploma project with great success in Dublin, and he received an invitation to the Nazarbayev University in Astana. There are opportunities for him to work with science in his projects. Стать членом нашей команды вообще в университете необходимо сделать презентацию. Он приехал с Дублина, из Ирландии, и сделал великолепную презентацию и поразил своим умением. In order to be a scientific member of the university, he should be acquainted with special projects. When he came back, he organized these scientific projects and showed us what he could make. He told us about the uniqueness of his projects and we were very content with what he was doing. Then we offered him a job. As we have work and projects, he became a part of our team and started doing projects. For example, producing dust in magnetrons, and we will receive a thin shell. It is a very important project for Kazakhstan. We talk about green energy and electricity, and sodium and gallium are very important elements in this sphere. project The people who know Oral are not tired of talking about him. He has different tasks with his projects and he organizes electricity on the road to sell raw materials and to produce high technology materials in our country. The young scientist who broke the rules of science prefers to work in his own and prefers photography and beauty. He was always carrying his camera around his neck and he took photos of the foggy Albion. Where he came back to the country and his interest in art increased. Many years ago, his parents dreamed about their motherland, and now he is taking photos of his homeland. The Kazakh land, the motherland, recognizes Oral as a scientist and gave opportunities to develop this science. It is a magnificent place. His first child was born here, and for him it is a fairy tale to meet his wife here as well. When he came for holidays from Ireland, he saw his future wife. When they got acquainted, he knew that he should study through the Balashak Scholarship in St. Petersburg. When he had time, he went there. His wife was majoring in software development, and they started to communicate in Astana. There is a word that the happy man harries to his home. His wife told us that Oral's request in science and his home are the same. He received knowledge from abroad, but his attitudes to the traditions and customs will not be changed. He is a very gentle and kind person. Oral helps me at home when he has free time. He loves children and he can play and carry them. Oral is a kind and friendly man. He likes to invite his friends to home. He respects my parents, my sisters and my brothers and it shows his kindness. Oral masters new technologies and he speaks fluent English. Subsequently, there aren't any minerals in Japan, as we have our own in Kazakhstan. But the secret of their development is economic science. They buy raw materials from abroad and make new innovative devices. Then they sell them at expensive prices. Owing to these scientists, in recent years our government has started to pay attention to the sciences, and now the younger generation has started to have an interest in nanotechnology, which is bringing up great hopes and achievements. This hope is in the hands of scientists such as Oral.